Thanks, Chuck. So let's get straight up to the new movies out this weekend. And our friend Greg Russell, the movie reviewer extraordinaire, is here with us. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you for always having me. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So <laughs> first up, let's mm -hmm. get straight into it. The new war movie, Dunkirk. Right. It's based on true events during the start of the World War, of World War II, rather. Mm -hmm. A lot of buzz around this movie. For sure. I mean, this is the first one that's come out this year that has award, uh, you know, talk already about it. Uh, Christopher Nolan, the guy who brought you all the Batman movies, uh, is the director of this film. And like you said, it takes place in 1940, right before the start of World War II. And it's in France, and it's where the Allies are being surrounded by the Germans. Mm. And they've only got, I think it was nine days or something like that, X amount of hours to get almost a half a million people out of there. Oh my and the thing is, the Allies all work so well together that they were able to do it. Wow. And, uh, you know, again, here's another one of those stories um, from world history that most of us didn't know about. Right. You know, so, but it is a, a, an in-your-face movie. Uh, they've already compared it, say, somewhat like to Saving Private Ryan, where it really does put the war right in your face. You really feel like you are there. Wow. But just a fascinating story. I'm always fascinated by stories like this and how the movie making yeah. is done. Because, I mean, it looks like you're actually back in time. So these All are right. big budget movies. Oh, for sure. I mean, he, he spared no expense, you know, Love on it. this one. But I think he also knew that, like we said, it's a great story and something that people need to know. And people need to see, even though it's, it deals with war, mm -hmm. it also shows the, I guess you'd say, love that man has for other men, mm -hmm. as far as these people from different countries all working together to save each other. Right, and this is an ensemble cast, right? Correct, correct. Okay. You have Tom Hardy, uh, Killian Murphy, he's in it, um, and several other folks, but I mean, those are kind of like the two big ones right there. Harry Styles. Harry Styles. Yeah. That's an Harry That's Styles. That's his new direction. <laughs> so, uh, instead of his one direction, he's got a new direction. That's a good one. That's a good Well, you know what? It sparks your interest in history at the same time. It now sure I want to go look it up. Like, what was that about? Oh, same here. Awesome. I started researching. I was like, wow, this is great. Good stuff. Good stuff. So next up, mm -hmm. we have a movie that I actually got to see last night. It's called oh, yeah. Girls Trip. Ooh. Yes, yes. And, you know, you actually took a trip I talk to the stars did. I was of down this in, in the Big Easy in New Orleans talking to all no. the ladies uh, from the movie, and we had a fun time. And they say a lot of interesting things. In fact, you know how interesting? Like this. <laughs> hey, the D. Hello, the D. <laughs> What's up, the D? Too bad we just missed you with your beat toss. What up, oh, guys? No. <laughs> Got to be ready. Oh man. Well, this movie's gonna get everybody ready for a fun and exciting summer. I think this could I be hope so. the most exciting thing out of the entire summer. I personally think it is. Oh, that's awesome. I do, and it's because it's so much fun, and it's funny, and it's something everybody can go see who's over 17. Yes. <laughs> and be ready to laugh together. You know, laugh mm -hmm. together. Yep, and like I said, it's great, you know, the four ladies were all friends in college. Yes. All grew up, become a little different. I mean, like your lady, she went through a divorce, but she's kind of the homebody. Yes. But her friends definitely take her out of the home and they bring her here. Yes. You know, I, I could relate to Lisa. I'm kind of going through that now in my life for real. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of breaking out of the slumber of being, you know, the domestication that I've... The domesticated fall. That's right. Yeah. I just want you to know I'm here for you. <laughs> We're going to Rio. Let's go. We're going to Rio. I told this one her whole life's about to change. Her career's about to change. I mean, it's, oh. you know, it's a, it's a, it's a big statement, a big mm -hmm. showcase to show well, how talented she is. She don't know what's happening to her famous for a long time. Mm -hmm. And now it's about to go well, mainstream. Like you said, this is about to take it to another stratosphere. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. But I'm glad I got to make three new awesome friends that yeah. can guide me and be there for me. I know, like, you know you work on projects that people give you their phone number, but they never answer your call? Right. She actually answers. Stuff, good stuff. <laughs> so this is definitely an adult movie, though. For sure. Like right. I've been telling people, it is a hard R. So, you know, don't think, oh, we might be able to take the 15 or 16-year-old. No. no, no, mm -mm. no, no. Truly for grown-ups. So, uh... <laughs> grown, grown. Grown, More, grown. Even older than 17, I would say. For oh, yeah. sure, for sure. <laughs> So how many reels for this one? I give this one uh, three reels and, you know, still going up because it's got a lot of great buzz. What did you think since you saw it last Well, night? I mean, I loved it because it was set in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I love the people playing the characters in yeah. the movie. However, I've been on, 
I can't even count how many girls trips I've been on and we have never been that turned up <laughs> ever in my life, ever in life, ever in life. But they're all kind of exaggerated right, characters right. of people who really <laughs> exist in life. But it was it was a cute movie overall. And I happened to be at an event last night mm. that was inspired by girls trips. So oh. We had a panel discussion with some great, wonderful women hosted by Dr. Sabrina Jackson and it was you know, Ramona Prater was on there. It's just wonderful women that we all had a conversation about what it means to be a really good girlfriend. The theater was packed out. There was audience participation. Yeah. So I know it might be kind of foreign to some of you guys out there, but being a girlfriend has its own total culture, and it was it was just really wonderful. Oh, it sounds like a fun event. I would have had a good time. I going. think you would have too. I would have. <laughs> I makes me think back to my too. bad mom party that I threw before that good, movie. Good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. So next up. Valerian. Tell us about that. Yeah, this is based off of a European comic book from the 1960s. Uh, this movie deals with outer space and just trying to, you know, somebody got kidnapped and they're trying to find this person mm -hmm. and it's just all this stuff going on visually. Visually, this movie is very, very stunning. Okay. It's almost along the lines of, say, Avatar. I mean, you, mm. you'll just see things that you haven't seen before. Uh, got a few issues going, like with the story and you know different things like that. But hey, for people out there who are filmmakers who just want to see how the craft has improved mm -hmm. and grown, yeah, you'll enjoy seeing the visuals. I mean, like we're watching right now. Mm -hmm. You're going to see uh, monsters and different things like you've never seen before. That's exciting. So we won't give it all away. So how many reels for this one? Two. Two, OK. Two, because it's visually beautiful. All right. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. So what giveaways do you have today? Well, lots all, of cute stuff on All here. for done, Kurt. Uh, just like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, we've got one for you, plus a Dunkirk bag, hats, a book, and also movie passes to go see the film uh, while it's out in theaters. And then also a uh, cell phone caddy right back there in the back. Alrighty. You can stick it on the back of your cell phone, maybe put a credit card or business cards or whatever. Sure. And it can always have it with you. Good stuff. This is a nice little swag bag like right this. here. Yeah. Good stuff, Greg Russell. So to remember, to enter, to enter Greg's giveaway, go to our Live in the D Facebook page. Contest rules are posted under the Scene on 4 section at clickondetroit.com. There you go. Thank you. And Thank happy you. weekend. And Enjoy same your movie to you. Watching. Thanks, Greg. <laughs>